In this video, let's create these single option cards with radio buttons and using simple variants, auto layout and color styles. Let's go. First, let's create a radio button. So, it's on here to the ellipse and quickly draw a 38 by 38 radio button. We can delete here the fill. We want a stroke. I have already here some styles, so you can grab this file in the link in the description. If you follow, if you want to follow along, then I want this to be light gray and side for pixels. Okay. Now we can create a component and call it radio button. Then let's create a selected state so duplicate here to add a variant that we will call it selected and i want it to be primary blue and if i double click it uh, instead of four i want eight pixels stroke and that's it and let's just rename the default and select it okay and here we can already make a connection so from the unselected to the selected state i want that on click it will change instantly to selected and now we can start to create our card so with the type tool let's type delivery type and this can be 36 30 pixels in black okay now when layer for the business days this will be 20 and instead of black 100% it can be something around 40% and here the price so something like that and with the right click frame selection now let's duplicate here our radio button and put it here just side of the frame select everything and add an auto layout by adding shift a then we will have a fill here, a white one. I also want a stroke with a light gray and two pixels. And this could be something around 376 by 186. Okay, now let's adjust the paddings so we can use here's probably. 32 pixels. Let's adjust first this padding here. 24, 32. It's okay. 30 also here. Okay, sounds interesting. Then you can adjust by yourself if you want. Car will be also round corners. Cool. So this is our card. We can name here card. And we can now make it as a component. So create a component and we can do here the add of the properties so that we can afterwards change these texts inside of the component. So here on the right hand side, I can have the property text that I will call delivery and delivery name. And I can add another one for the business days the value can be for 10 business days and just another one for the price which should be zero two dollars okay now we need to match these properties with the type so if i double click here the deliver type here in the right hand side you can apply apply text property so i will click it and select delivery and it automatically update to delivery name this one will be the business days and this one will be the price now we can create a variant to use it as the selected card 
and the first one will be unselected car in this one we can change some styles here so instead of white it will be blue the selection colors instead of light gray we have this middle blue text instead of black it will be the primary blue and the stroke instead of light gray it will be primary blue that's it next up we need to create the instances of these cards so let's duplicate this one and put it and just like that which will be already the visualization that we will have in our uh, main frame if we apply this to a website for example and we can select everything create a component that we can call card group and now we will we need to create the states for all of the cards so the i will add three more rows and uh, let me just increase here adding between the rows because i want to show you the this great tip while prototyping so if i select this tree it will look odd in the beginning but at the end you will understand that this is really great so with the tree the variant selected it enter so that it selects inside of the variance as you can see here on the left hand side and delete all the instances inside the variance okay but you still have here the variance now here what we will do is to prototype something so head over here to prototype and if i click in this card i want the first one to be selected if i click the second one i want this one and if i want this one I want the last one, the third row. So pay attention if you are selecting the correct lines. And now if I go again to design and click in the first instant instance, as you can see, I'm selecting the whole group. If I hit enter, I will only select what's inside of the variant. Now I will copy and with the shift, I will select the three variants down below. And I will just paste the instances or the components inside of it. And now watch this magic. If I head over to prototype, look, all the links are already here. So this is really, really cool. I just discovered this a few days ago and yeah, this is really awesome. So now you have uh, already the links to all cards, whatever you click on the first one, second one or third one. Now what we need to to do is to change the status of the car so this one is the unselected it will be the selected and this are uh, just a, a thing that this is not changing because here i didn't change to selected so if i change now it's already updating there the second one it's also selected in the third row this card is the selected one okay awesome now we have our card group created. If you go here to assets, it's here. And we can now test our prototype. I've already made here one card. Imagining that this is a, a, a part of our website. And just simply click and drag the instance. Let's update our instances here. So if I double click to select this card, instead of delivery name, it will be standard. And it's okay like that then the second one will be express and the days can decrease a little bit and the price something like that and super fast here one to two business days and 25 bucks okay and if now you, if you test it, it's already updated, as you can see, and you can navigate between them. Now, one thing that I want to show you also is that, for instance, if you go here to the main component where we created the, the selected state, 
if I want to change the, um, this blue to another color, that's why it's really important to have these tiles uh, created. If I want to change the fill instead of light blue, I can change to another color. And as you can see, I have here the prototype open. So it, this will like, automatically update in every part of the Figma file. So if I choose here light green, it will update here. It will update in our prototype and it will update all our instances. So as you can see, it's really, really cool. Now, if I want to go back, I can select again the component and here instead of light green, I want to go back again to light blue and China, it's updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a comment with other topics that you may want to see covered. I hope this helped you and see you in my next video. Thank you and have a great day.